The desert tortoise is truly one of Nevada's most iconic species, and it deserves all the attention it can get. This week is dedicated to raising awareness and promoting the recovery of the Mojave Desert Tortoise. Josh Minnie joins us now here in the studio to discuss Desert Tortoise Week. Josh? Yeah, Kristen, these creatures are so unique and fascinating, and it's vital we do all we can to protect and preserve them for future generations of Nevadans. To celebrate Tortoise Week, I visited Nevada's state reptile at our state capitol. He is the state tortoise. He's 18 years old and um, can live to be like an 80 or 100 years old. Carson the tortoise resides at the Nevada governor's mansion. He's starting to wind down for brumation, which is the equivalent of hibernation for reptiles. He eats 100% organic, non-treated dandelions, grape leaves, and roses grown at the mansion. Carson was adopted by Governor Brian Sandoval, and he serves as an ambassador for the governor's mansion. He's a source of peace for those at the mansion. You know, crazy day, you just, if you can just step away, we call it Carson therapy. We just come out and sit on the wall and just have a quiet moment with him. And, um, and the kids too, we've had um, special needs kids who have had such a strong response to him, such a positive response. Desert tortoise is the state reptile and they are critically endangered species. Biologists with the Department of Wildlife say the tortoises are an important species to study to understand what's going on with the environment. And their ability to survive such a harsh environment is incredible. They've been around for like 15 to 20 million years and they're so hardy, but also so delicate. And Dow is trying to raise their population and increase their habitat in the Mojave Desert in Southern Nevada. They're an extremely significant keystone species. So if we can improve their populations, if we can improve their habitat, we are also improving the habitat for all other Mojave Desert species. Yeah, and desert tortoises in the Mojave Desert are beginning to go into brumation. This means they will stay in their burrows from roughly October to February. If you see them in the wild, it's best to leave them alone for their survival. Covering the story, Josh Many, 2 News.